Hello, my name is Curtis Ratliff, and today, along with my partners, Maxon, Ethan, Darnell, and Ashley, we will be presenting about Six Flags Virtual Adventures app. Now, with the current pandemic decreasing Six Flags revenue of about 20% in a matter of months, we have thought of a way to combat against the current situation. And with that, we are excited to present the Six Flags VR Adventure app. With this app, our guests will be able to experience the fun and adventure of our theme parks in the comfort of their own home. Not only does this app create another revenue stream for the company, but projections show the ROI, or the return on investment, for the app will be nearly 30% after year three. Welcome to the Six Flags Adventure app. Now, what is the organizational challenge? And with that being said, a lot of it comes down and breaks down to the loss of revenue that parks are experiencing throughout the world, Six Flags being one of the major ones. Not only was Six Flags forced to close down all of its locations, with that, it has led to a loss of contact with their guests. It has pretty much stopped all revenue streams, and it correlates to nearly a million dollar a loss each day. Now that is extremely large and we need to figure out a way of a solution to fix that loss of investment. And with that, that is where we talk about the Six Flags Virtual Adventures app. So what the app does is it kind of brings Six Flags into the realm of our audience from their home. And with a simple attachment for nearly any iPhone and Samsung device or with any VR system that they have purchased, they will be able to experience shows, rides and the parks from the comfort of their own home without the fear of catching the COVID-19 virus. Now, when it comes to finding the people we want to target for this market, it's going to break down to those theme park audiences that are pretty consistently coming to the parks periodically. And with that age range, we're looking at an age range of about 20 to 30 with a income of 45 to 50k. But what's important to remember is not only are we trying to appeal to your traditional theme park target audience, we also want to correlate a new audience, the gamer audience, the audience that has a nice VR setup at the comfort of their home as well. And with that, we can not only get both the theme park audience, but also the gamer market. And that is going to produce a much larger revenue stream than if we were to target just one of them. Now, when we talk about the markets, we also have to figure out an analysis for the company itself. And with that, with its strengths and weaknesses. Now, an amazing strength that Six Flags has is the amount of people following them from their social media content to the people that enjoy going to all their parks. Six Flags has made a name for itself and that is not a name to forget. When it comes to their weaknesses though, a large part of Six Flags' weaknesses comes from the astounding amount of debt that they have, totaling nearly $2.7 billion after declaring bankruptcy back in early 2000s. This can lead to a very precautious state as you don't know where it could go after this pandemic. So in implementing this new revenue stream with the Six Flags Virtual Adventure app, <clears throat> we can bring something new to the playing field. And so with that, we want to talk about the strategy implementation of bringing the app to the consumers. Now, Brett Petit is currently the VP of marketing and sales. So of course, we would want him to take on this challenge from the head start. And not only would we want you know, Brett Petit in, in leading the charge for this as he has proven numerous amounts of success throughout the industry, but also nearly make a whole new department for dealing with this app because this app is something that will continue to grow as it gets more use. And so to break it down even further, ideally you'd want to look for a mobile developer that is both contingent and using Apple and Android softwares to develop an app, a backend developer to ensure that everything works the way it's supposed to, a DevOps engineer, and of course a tech project manager to keep everything going and running smoothly. Now, with that, we have Brad working with the marketing. And the best way that we are going to want to market this app is simply using social media to the best of its capabilities. Not only are we going to be able to reach out to Six Flags' current followers in state, but we also are going to run a rad, want to run Facebook and Instagram campaigns as well. Along with that, we can use banner ads and Google ads to also get the word out there. 
Now, looking at the sales and projections of this app is, is a little trivial as this app does plan to be free at a $0 cost. So with that, we're going to need a way to bring in revenue. And with that, it's going to be inside ads of the app. Now, for right now, we need to look at the eCPM, which is pretty much the amount of views that we're going to get. And with that, and if we get a million downloads in the first year is what we are forecasting, then we will meet that 10.8 million views a month, which then equates to a certain amount of money. And that can be shown here. So our ad revenue is with our eCPM, and then our CPM is coming to about $10 per 1,000 views, which then goes to about a $1.3 million annual revenue stream. Now, we will still be in the negative for the first few years as we have to worry about building content, we have to worry about paying employees, we have to worry about paying our taxes and stuff like that. And, and with that, it, it comes to what the most expensive part is going to be. And it's going to be the initial setup of creating the videos and creating the content of what goes into this app. But after hitting that three year hump or the three year total, we are going to start seeing a profit on what we have put into it, which will add a lot of value to the current revenue streams of Six Flags, even after this pandemic is over. Now, listed are some of the key milestones that we want to hit. And for project timeline wise, we want to in one year, get as many people as possible to download this app. And then that will show us how we want to grow the app in itself. So for instance, in July, 2020, when we would plan on launching this app, how many people can we get to go all the way up to December 20, 2021? And when that comes in is evaluating the success of the app. Now, the engagement rate is going to be absolutely important and we want the engagement rate to be greater than the churn rate. And what we mean by that is we want more people to continue to download the app and engage itself in the app, watching the ads, watching the videos present rather than the people who download it, watch something and then delete the app as a, in a whole. And if the engagement rate stays higher than the churn rate and at a better process, then that leads us to future plans for the app. Now, as of right now, we would just want to launch the app with the bare minimum, getting people inside the parks, showing them what we're able to do, maybe put a ride or two in the app. Future plan rides though, we can look at hosting live shows. We can look at hosting concerts. We can also look at creating different ways to incorporate such as a safari journey or a previous show on Six Flags that was canceled and we can redo it on the app that would surely bring in a whole new crowd to the app in itself. So in the end, what we really feel about this app is the capability of, of making it go farther. And opening this up in July should definitely help with getting the Six Flags things back out there even after this pandemic is done. And with the help of you, I know that we can definitely make this a possibility and we look forward to making it happen.